Hi everyone, this is the Calvin Zhao, and this is the, the HTML file generated by my R notebook. I'm using it uh, because I think it's better look, and also uh, it's easy for me to explain everything here with the, the code and also the outputs. Okay, so this is the title of my project. How does GDP per capita affect life expectancy? Uh, parentheses for different countries. Um, <clears throat> so I think this uh, might be a good topic for this project because I think it can be uh, used widely, for example, to uh, for some insurance companies, uh, when you design life insurance for different countries, you might uh, you you might want to use this project to predict how long people live in that area. Um, and this is the, just one of the examples I, I can think of. Uh, and for this project, I used two datasets, and both of them are gen are retrieved from the websites using Web Scraper. Uh, I will post these links uh, along with this video and also uh, the sub the final submission of the project. Uh, the first uh, dataset is uh, the GDP per capita in 2017, and and, also, and the second one is. Uh, uh, the life expectancy data in 2015. The reason why I didn't uh, use the uh, 2017 one is that I didn't find any available data uh, for 2017. So I have to go back to 2015. So I don't think this will cause a big problem in predicting and modeling. So I just did it. and. In the cleaning and the shipping, I uh, had problem with the, the rank, the GDP rank of countries. Um, <clears throat> the original data set has uh, a dash when there's a tie in ranks, but a dash is not a number. I can't do anything about it. So I changed it uh, to uh, change the dash to uh, the the number of rank uh, of its previous country. For example, uh, if there's a one two dash three, I changed it to one two two three. I think that makes more sense. I that makes the same sense, but um, easier for me. And. Mm, uh, in GDP data set, uh, uh, the number of GDPs uh, is uh, are separated by commas, uh, which cannot be uh, evaluated because of the commas. Um, <clears throat> so I ch I use GSub to remove the comma and uh, uh, convert those values to numeric, so that I can actually model model it. <clears throat> and here I joined. Uh, to data set into one. Uh, in data exploration, uh, here is a, a graph of GDP per capita and the y-axis is den density. Um, here is the pretty, pretty much the same graph but with the count. So as you can see, most countries are uh, under 25,000 dollars at the GDP per capita. And here is a graph for both genders life expectancy. And to catch the outliers, there seems to be no outliers for uh, life expectancy. I think that makes sense because you can never expect <clears throat> laugh. And for the first graph, there seem to be some outliers, and I cut I cut them here, and I um, run the correlation coefficient analysis, and <clears throat> I calculated, 
And you can see here the p-value is pretty small, which implies significant correlation. So I think that uh, can be a good signal uh, that this topic is worth studying. <coughs> And here I use the core plot to generate a realization of core correlation coefficients, uh, which is this graph. <coughs> and here uh, is the graph of uh, the correlation. And you can see there uh, it's not linear related, but um, there should be a curve and this is the the code uh, where i used uh, r mysql and to run this part you have to download mysql on your computer and pass in the usernames and password so that you can uh, run this block properly uh, to construct a model here uh, let's go to the output uh, the model gives us the the graph that <clears throat> uh, that is not a linear related graph, and uh, I used an SVM to predict and used RMSE to uh, measure the performance of the model. Uh, our, the value of our MSE is 3.9 and 3.8. Uh, I think, um, uh, 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 respectively, for LM and SVM, um, which the SVM one is smaller, so uh, model SVM is better in accuracy. That's the conclusion. And uh, in complex data visualization part, I made a map here, use map data. Uh, <clears throat> in this map, you can see the countries that are colored. The red, the more red it, it is, the higher GDP it has. So this is the United States. I picked five, uh, which are Japan, uh, I don't know, it's too small here. It's Japan, um, Italy, France, and New Zealand, and uh, the United States. In uh, here, this is the this is a graph that uh, this is a graph that uh, is a pl plotted graph uh, that uh, the life expectancy of uh, GDP per capita. Uh, I, separate, I separated uh, the life expectancy by, their, by, the, by gender. So the orange one is the, fem is the, the female one and uh, the, this blue one is uh, male one so you can see females usually live longer than males and this this graph is pretty much the same as the first one uh, but i separated them uh, into two graphs because i think in some circumstances it might be useful to watch this way this way and uh, uh, this one is um, a graph that uh, I, I made by uh, Plotly package, and uh, this is a interactive graph. When you move your mouse sensor here, you can check the information of uh, uh, each plot. And so. The left one is for female life expectancy, and the right one is male life expectancy. And the very last one is uh, pretty much the same as the previous one, but I added a fit curve here, so you can mm, better see the relation. Uh, so, in uh, future work area, 
I think uh, uh, the nonlinear model uh, should have a better performance. And also, uh, I can probably find um, other uh, effect, other effect that may cause life expectancy difference, uh, such as the uh, population um, and uh, government and uh, other stuff. Um, thank you.